Okay, here we have the KDV Sport priming routine for all our KDV athletes. Um, much like its name suggests, the idea of this routine is to prime your body and get it ready for competition and or training. So I'll run you through it as we go. Uh, we begin with a down dog position. So if you've done yoga, you'll be familiar with the down dog position. What we look for in this position is nice straight legs, so not knees bent, knees are straight. The heels are being driven down to the floor and we're pushing the chest through the arms and that's giving us a nice stretch through the thoracic spine and all the way up through our posterior chain. This is gonna be a key move during this, um, this routine. So we go from a down dog position and we work that into an up dog position. It might be important to note that the shape of my elbows will change. I'll turn my elbows in as I dive through. And that's pretty important just to protect, just to protect the rotator cuff. So I'm gonna dive through, sort of snake my way through and up, and I'm gonna stretch um, through my abs and my upper body and lean back. As you can see, I'm looking completely upwards and I'm stretching my back and my abs. From here, I'm gonna push back up into the down dog position, and in this first part of the routine, I'm gonna uh, put my leg through so that I can stretch my hamstrings, and I call this into a, a bit of a deep lunge. So when I'm doing this, you'll notice I use my elbow, and I use my elbow to push my knee out as I'm leaning on the inside of that thigh, and that's where I'm feeling the stretch right now on the inside of my right thigh. I look away and I turn that knee out, and that also gives me a little stretch in my back in my QL. I put that leg back, go have a quick stretch in that down dog position, and then drive my left leg to the outside. Notice that I step my foot to the outside of my hand. Then I lean on that um, thigh, I push, use my elbow, push away and look away, and that helps stretch my QL as well as my hamstring. Then I sit down into what we're gonna call a squat and reach progression. I sit down with good posture and I make sure I wiggle my hips right down nice and low. I have complete flexion of the knees and I keep my, I encourage my knees on top of my shoes by using my elbows to drive the knees out. And I maintain good posture when I do that. So you'll see I sort of wiggle around and play in that, in that position. I then take, reach my right hand up and, and back as far as I can while I look at it. And that gives us nice thoracic stretch through that thoracic rotation of the spine. We repeat on the other side. And then we go back into what we're gonna call a back roll. And in this back roll position, we're gonna roll all the way back to the base of our spine or base of our neck and come forward into a cross-legged position and just lean forward. You'll notice that I hook my elbows on my knees to pull myself further forward. Then I'm gonna roll back again and I'm gonna roll and I'm gonna see, notice I'm changing my legs. I've changed my legs from this cross position into this cross position and I do the same thing with my elbows. I hook my elbows on my knees and pull myself forward to get a nice stretch. Now I'm gonna roll back and, and I'm gonna use that momentum to roll forward into a bear crawl position and I'm gonna just do what I call three bear crawls. I, I only count my right hand when I do a bear crawl. So one, two, and three. Then I'm gonna start the second phase of this routine. So there's four phases in this routine. The phases are quite easy to remember. So after you've done this about three times, you should know it off by heart because it follows a fairly similar pattern. You see I've gone straight into the down dog again. I'm gonna rotate those elbows and go into my up dog again. And this time, as I go back into the down dog, I'm gonna drive a knee through and notice I drive the knee to the middle of my elbows here and I'm actually gonna lay on that leg and that's gonna give me a good uh, glute stretch in my right glute. And I like to stay active when I stretch so you'll see I, I move around and I stay quite active rather than just a basic static stretch. I go back into my up dog position. This time I'm gonna bring my left knee through and lay on my left glute. I stay active and I move around, I stretch my left glute. I go back to my seated position and now I do the squat and reach pro progression again. Right hand back as far as I can and look at it, turn that thoracic spine. Left hand back and look at it. Keep the knees out, encourage the knees with those elbows. I'm gonna go back into a roll and this time I'm gonna roll forward with straight legs and I'm just gonna collapse forward. 
If you can reach your feet, reach your feet and pull yourself forward down into that nice stretch. You'll get your hamstrings and lower back. Roll back again. Straight legs again. So every time we do our back roll, we're going to do that twice. I'm going to use a third back roll to come forward. And that's going to give me the momentum to get up. And I'm going to do three leap frogs. So when I leap frog, I throw my hands in front. And I'm going to jump my feet to the outside of my hands. And that helps open the hips as well. One, two, three. Then we start the, uh, the third part of the pr progression, which is back into an up, uh, down dog. This is a key move throughout the whole uh, movement progression, the priming routine. Turn the elbows in, dive through into an upwards facing dog. We're gonna go back and this time I'm gonna do what's called a thoracic twist. Now this one's a little bit complicated, so take your time with it and learn it properly. I'm going to switch my hips around and you'll notice my hips will turn around by bringing this, my uh, left foot through and my right hand comes off the ground. Now this is the important part. Notice how I raise my hips. So when that left foot hips, hits the ground, I'm actually driving off that heel and lifting that glute up. So the glute goes to the roof. I'm using this arm to actually pull down and that's creating a twist in my thoracic spine because this glute is going this way and this arm is going that way. So the glute's controlling my lower body, my arm is controlling my upper body, I'm, I'm, and I'm creating a twist in my thoracic spine. I'm gonna shuffle, and I'm gonna do it on the other side, so this time you might be able to see it better. So I just, I bring my right foot through, and as soon as that right foot hits the ground, I plant it and I drive into that heel, which is actually gonna drive my uh, glute to the sky, so that's excellent for glute activation. And then I'm going to keep pulling this arm this way, which is great for that thoracic spine. So equally as good for a glute activation exercise and a thoracic spine mobility exercise. When I'm done that, I'm going back into my squat and reach progression. I'm going to reach up, look, reach up, look. Now, it might be important to note also, when I do one hand, the other elbow is still encouraging that knee out. So that's important to note as well. This time I go, I go into my rollback. So it's a similar progression through all four phases. This time I open my legs. I hook an ankle. If you can reach, if you can't reach that far, just grab your leg. I'm gonna swim this arm right over. That's gonna be good for my back and my lats. I'm going to use my right hand to help pull me forward. So that pulls me right down and I sweep across and around to the other side. I hook that leg. I do the swim over the top and then around by pulling myself down forward using this hand to pull myself down, my upper body down as I swim across. I then use momentum of that rock again and I'm going to come back up. This time I'm going to go bear crawl again, but I'm going to go backwards. There's that three bear crawl backwards and of course into the final phase, the fourth phase, I'm going to go down dog, up dog. And this time, I'm going to do hip touches. So I sweep my hips to the ground. This is a little bit different. It's more active than that thoracic twist. And my glutes hit the ground as I switch. So it's a good hip switch. Crash the glutes on the ground just to move around and open up that lower body. Then I'm going to go back into a seated position. Do my squat and reach. I'm going to do my back rolls, and this time I'm going to stretch my adductors. So I, I grab my, you can notice I grab my feet, and I use my elbows to encourage my knees out. Like always, we do two rounds when we do our back rolling. And to finish, I'm going to come up, and I'm going to do reverse leapfrogs. So I bring my, my hands to my feet, and I jump my feet back. One, two and three to finish exactly where I started. And that's our KDV priming routine.